Hi everybody, my name is Chloe and today we are going to be learning our concert F five note scale for trumpet. So because we do not play a concert pitched instrument, which would be something like a flute or a trombone or a tuba, it's not really going to be RF. If we were to play RF, it would not go with what the other ensemble, everyone else in the ensemble was playing and it would sound really crunchy. When I say crunchy, I mean it would sound clashing. So. It's concert F, but if you look on your five note scale sheet, you'll see that it's actually G major for us. I'm gonna play through it just as it's written. So this first time, listen to it and then we'll learn it together. G scale is going to be G. All right, so G is open. I'm gonna play it once. I'm gonna play it for four beats, then we're gonna do it together. Pause the video if you wanna practice on your own, otherwise let's do it together. I'm gonna give four counts. We're gonna breathe on four and then we're gonna play the G for a whole note, so four beats. Ready, one, two, three, So the second note in our scale is going to be A. But if you remember in the musical alphabet, after we get to G, we go back to A. A is going to be fingers one and two. Listen to me play it first, and we'll do it together. All right, A, fingers one and two. I'm gonna give four counts in, and then we're gonna breathe on four, and we're gonna play A for four beats. We're gonna play it as a whole note. Ready, one, two, three. if you need to otherwise let's do it again make sure when you're playing you sit up nice and straight and when we hold our trumpet we're not holding it like this because it makes it hard for the air to come out as nicely as it can so sit up straight hold it straight a for four beats ready one two three awesome let's put those two notes together now we're going to put them together as half notes as it's written so follow in your music and listen to me do it first all right, let's try it together. And remember, it's going to be G, 2, A, 2. Ready? 1, 2, 3. Great job. Let's do that again. Take a nice full breath. 1, 2, 3. it if you want to do that a um, little more for some more practice otherwise we're gonna go on to our third note in the scale it's going to be B B is fingers finger two so I'm gonna play it first and then we'll do it together ready so remember B is finger two holding it for four beats one two three Let's do that one again. One, two, three. All right, let's add that into our scale. So we're gonna do G, two, A, two, B, two. Listen to me do it first. All right, let's do it together. G, two, A, one and two, two, B, two, for two beats. One, two, three. Great job. So I'm tapping my foot right now, but obviously you can't see that. So I'm trying to bob a little bit to give you a sense of the time I'm keeping. Let's do that again. The same thing. A2, G, sorry. G2, A2, and B2. One, two, three. the 
fourth note in our five note scale. That's going to be C. C is just like G. It is open. So we're going to do C2. Listen to me do it first. Alright, let's do that together. And remember, it's open. For four beats. One, two, three. Alright, let's do that again. Ready? One, two, three. to the scale. Listen to me do it first. All right. G to A to B to C to. Let's do that together. Ready? One, two, three. scale is going to be D. So I'm going to play the entire scale going up so you can hear where that fits in, then we'll just play D together. So listen to me do it. And let's do that together. Support your air, don't push. D is finger one, so we're going to hold this, this note down for four beats. One, two, D. Great job. Let's do that again. One, two, three. Awesome. So I think we're ready now to do the entire scale going up. So you already heard me do it, so I'm not going to play it again, but we'll go over the notes. G, two, A, two, B two C two D two stop. We're gonna learn the scale descending, which means going down after this. Right now we're just doing ascending, which means going up. Let's do this together. Ready? One, two, three. Again, ready? One, two, three. Awesome. So we did it going up. Let's do it going down. I'm going to play it first, then we'll do it together. As it's written in our scales, it's going to be a whole note. So, starting on D in the third measure, D, two, C, open, two, B, two, A, two, G, two, three, four. All right. Hear that note in your head? Ready? One, two, starting on D. Ready? Again, hum it with me. Let's play it. One, two, three. Awesome. Let's put the entire scale together. G to A to B to C to D. Two C two B two A two G two three four. I'm gonna do it first and we'll do it together. Let's do that 
together. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> I breathe I took a breath right before that G whole note so if you need to you can do that let's do it again one two three concert F or G five no scale. Great. Good job. So another thing we're going to talk about today is something called open fits and an open fifth is a kind of lip slur we're going to do. So in order to find out what a fifth is, we're just going to start on C and count up. Ready? C, D, E, F, G. So when I say lip slur, that means we don't use our tongue. We use our air and we just go C and then up to G. So listen to me do it first. It's gonna take a little bit of practice first. I've been practicing it for a long time now. So why don't we do the notes separately at first? Let's do C for two beats. Ready? One, two, three. All right, and let's do G for two beats. Listen to me first if you need to, otherwise let's do it together. One, two, three. So let's try going from C to G now. Listen to me do it again, and I'm gonna play each note for two beats. Let's try it together, ready? One, two, three. Let's us use our air as a brass player, which is clearly what we need to make noise. So when you do open fifths, that just means that it's kind of, it's the same fingering essentially for us. So C to G, both open. So you can do it a few times and it helps build flexibility. Now flexibility is like when you stretch and like when you can touch your toes all the way. So flexibility on trumpet is a similar idea that helps us be more nimble. And when I say nimble, it means like careful and just helps us be a better musician overall. So I'm gonna go C to G to C to G to. I'm gonna do it back and forth, then we're gonna do it together. And let's do that together. And if you don't get it right away, it's okay. Just keep practicing it. I promise you will get it. Support your air. So we're going to take a nice big breath. Ready? One, two, three. All right. So let's do that one more time. Ready? One, two, three. you play trumpet more and more you can do it in a bunch of different patterns like you could do triplets you could do um 16th notes which would be tika tikas you could do it in eighth notes so tts so just for instance i'm going to show you what it can sound like after you've done it for a while done that for a long time so it took me a very long time to get like that however if you keep practicing you will also be able to play like that so i will see you next week don't forget to practice your five note concert f or g major scale and then practice some lip slurs from that open fifth from c to g all right bye